Hello guys, we are here to discuss the latest battle between the two acronyms OLED versus LED. To understand the difference between these two was an easier task than it is today. When OLED TVs first arrived in the market in 2013, they were known for their perfect black levels and excellent color, but it could not compete with LED and LCD TVs due to its brightness levels. Also, there was a huge gap between these two TV technologies. But today, it's all changed. OLED TVs are much brighter than they used to be, and the price gap has also come down. But we can say that LED TVs still have some distinct advantages over OLED. So let's take a look at how these two TV technologies are different and explore the weakness and strength of each. LED stands for a light emitting diode. These are the solid state devices which make light due to some movements of electrons through a semiconductor. LED can be created at a much smaller size than incandescent and compact fluorescent light bulbs and yet they can get extremely bright. But LEDs are not small enough to be used as individual pixels of a television. That's the reason why LEDs are used only as a backlight for the LCD TVs. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Tile. As the name suggests, they are made with organic compounds. There is not a huge difference when it is compared to LEDs. But unlike LEDs, OLED can be used as individual pixels because they can be made extremely thin and flexible as well. Due to this flexibility, when an OLED pixel is shut off, then it is completely off or you can say completely black. Now it's time to compare these two technologies against each other and see where they stand when it comes to elements such as brightness, viewing angle, contrast and other performance considerations. When we come to brightness, LED televisions have a considerable advantage. LED was already good to get extremely bright, but the addition of quantum dots allows it to get even brighter. OLED TVs can also get pretty bright. Converting OLED pixels to their maximum brightness level for extended period reduces its lifespan. However, the pixel also takes a little while to return to total black. Sometimes, the situation is to be considered that where the televisions are to be used. OLED TV is going to perform best in a dark room, while the LED TVs outshine themselves making it best for the bright rooms. OLED TV screens can be viewed with no luminescence degradation at drastic viewing angles, which is up to 84 degrees. Compared with LED TVs, these have been tested to allow for a maximum viewing angle of 54 degrees at its best, thus having a clear advantage. Hence, OLED is the winner here. OLED has traveled a long way in this category. When the technology was still emerging, OLED screens were insignificant in comparison with LED and LCD displays. As the manufacturing of OLED has improved, the number of large OLED displays has increased, but they still seem small in front of the largest LED displays, which can push past 100 inches in size and beyond. LG says that you have to see your OLED TVs for 5 hours a day for 54 years before they fall in 50% of the brightness. It is true that what remains to be seen since OLED TVs have been in the world since 2013. For this reason, we will only provide this category to LEDs and LCDs. It pays to keep a proven track record. It is an ability of a display to produce deep and dark blacks which are probably the most important factor to achieve the excellent picture quality. Deeper black allows for richer colors and higher contrast and thus produces a more realistic and dazzling picture. When it comes to black levels, OLED wins the battle. LED TVs rely on LED backlights that shine behind LCD panels. Even using advanced dimming technology that selectively dims LEDs don't need on full blast. LED TVs have the history where it struggled to produce dark blacks and can suffer from an effect called light bleed. In this effect, the lighter section of the screen create a bloom in the dark adjacent areas. Even on the most advanced LEDs, these issues are unavoidable. 
OLED TVs don't suffer from these problems. If an OLED pixel is not getting electricity, it does not produce any light and hence it is totally black. Response time is the time that every single diode takes to change from on to off. Faster the response time, lesser the motion blurs. OLED works as a single pixel in its smaller diodes which simply beat the LED and LCD TVs in terms of response time. If we talk about contrast, the diodes in LED TVs are not only slower but also illuminate the cluster of pixels. This is the reason that causes an overall slower change between on and off states. In fact, OLED currently offers the fastest response of any TV technology used today. As for input lag, OLED is not an inherently bad choice for the gamers, but we are waiting to see which models will have the least input lag. This category is basically used to rule by OLED, but quantum dots have allowed LED and LCD TVs by improving the purity of the backlight to move forward in color accuracy, color volume and color brightness, thus moving them equal to the OLED TVs. Those who are looking for the TVs with white color screens or HDR will find both LED and OLED models that support these features. OLED's better contrast ratio gives it a slight edge when viewed in dark rooms which are in terms of HDR. But HDR on a premium LED and LCD screens has an edge. This is because it can produce well saturated colors at extreme brightness levels that OLED cannot match. The OLED panels are extremely thin and require no backlight. As such, the OLED TV has less weight than LED and LCD TV. Hence, they require less power, making them more efficient. Some times ago, this category was easily won by LED and LCD TVs, but now OLED TVs have almost equalized this category based on the ratio of price to performance. OLED TVs are premium TVs where no budget or mid-range exists. However, LED TVs can range from $100 to several thousand dollars which makes them more accessible than OLEDs. Even the price of highest quality LED TVs is nearly the same to OLEDs. OLED still beats LED and LCD in terms of picture quality. OLED is thinner, lighter, uses less power and offers the best viewing angle. If we just talk about the value alone, LED and LCD would still win. But OLED is the superior TV technology today and deserves the crown for its achievements. Regardless of which technology you ultimately decide on, we can help you to find the best possible TV for you. Thanks for watching. If you like the video please click on like button, share and subscribe button to subscribe our channel Technical Time Pass and watch latest videos.